friends, it's Anna here. Today I have a layout for HipKit Club uh, created with August Kids. And uh, I am starting with stamping this pretty stamp set from Embellishment Kit uh, over the white cardstock. Um, I am using Archival Ink uh, Color Black Jet, I think. Uh, I am using it because it's kind of a worn out. It doesn't give this very, very black impressions. That's why I uh, like uh, the effect it's creating. And you can use any other black ink you have in your stash. It doesn't have to be this one because we won't color it. So it doesn't have to be waterproof or uh, any other media proof. Just uh, regular uh, black ink. Um, and uh, this stamp set is from Crate Paper uh, Willow Lane collection designed by um, Maggie Holmes. And I love this collection, like all the <laughs> Crate Papers collection, I would say. Um, and uh, I'm always amazed by the florals that are added into this into the Crate Paper collections. As you can see on the background, I uh, tried some different colors too because I wasn't uh, sure uh, which dire direction to go. I wanted to use this stamp set and this is what I knew, but I didn't know if I want to use colorful uh, images or black images because, um, well, I had the idea first about stamping background, um, but then somehow <laughs> I changed my mind and I went uh, in a different direction. Um, and all I am doing right now is fussy cutting all the stamp, uh, Im stamped images, the bigger flowers, the smaller flowers and the leaves. And I will skip this part on this video. You don't have to me. <laughs> you don't have to see me cutting uh, all the pieces. And this is how uh, they are look. I had to stand and close the shutters because the sun was already looking into my craft room. I picked this picture of my daughter Maya. She was uh, a little bit more than a year old on this picture and she was playing. She looks kind of a sad on this picture, but she wasn't at all. She just didn't want to smile uh, to the camera. She was more um, curious of uh, what I am holding and she wanted to take my uh, phone uh, to check it. Uh, and I am going to create this um, fun design over the white background. I am using the cardstock from the cardstock add-on kit. And I am using watercolors from Pink Fresh Studio. They are from the previous month, uh, from July, uh, color add-on kit. Uh, because I like this color combo. The colors are, I don't remember the name, let me check them. The blue one is called Sky Blue, the yellow one is called Sunshine. And I will be also adding uh, a shimmers paint. Uh, it's not a shimmers, I think it's colorings or inklings. This is from, um, from uh, shimmers and this is from August Kit. And first I was uh, going to add, uh, uh, add it uh, with a plastic bag, but then I... Uh, that I thought that it would be much faster if I would just uh, add stains over the paper. When it's all dry and you have to be sure that your background is dry, I also added a few black uh, drops of uh, Indian ink. It's just a very cheap Indian ink from my uh, local, local art store. It costs like half of a dollar, I think, and it's very useful. And after I have my background dry, I am building up the paper composition. This is something I think I haven't done for a while because uh, I tend to create more simple pages late lately with less layers of paper, but I was missing uh, this, uh, you know, thrilling, <laughs> um, thrilling playing with uh, papers and I wanted to create something more behind my photo. I cut one of the papers into stripes. Uh, this is the paper from Willow Lane collection. I'm using most, uh, all, the, all of the papers are from Willow Lane collection. You can find them all in the main kit. And uh, I am designing how I would like my uh, layers to look like. I am going into this blue yellow color combo. And as you can see, I also added some of the flowers and now I'm going through um, ephemera pack to check if I would uh, I would find something useful for my page. Uh, I'm 
working with layers that are not glued down yet i will do this off the camera because because it takes a while and it's not anything special and useful to uh, watch uh, i found this yellow tag that i'm going to use uh, i will also use one of those cute creatures i don't remember i think it was panda that i've I, I used at the end and I'm also liking this um, clock uh, this is this kind of a kukatu clock I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it well I'm not sure if it's the same name in English than its name in Polish um, but it has this little bird inside uh, that comes out every hour sorry for the lightning the light already went the sun already went down and somehow I didn't thought of uh, closing the blinds more uh, so I hope you will be st uh, still able to see what I'm making I glued down all the layers of the camera adding uh, some uh, dimension using uh, pieces of cardboard and 3d foam squares and now I'm adhering more stamps uh, stamp prints uh, to add a little bit of um, how do I say it contrast uh, to my page because I like uh, how they look and I'm going to use um, more of them than I uh, already glued down uh, I will be also adding some other uh, bits and pieces from uh, from the kids and uh, I love this creature really I think I think they are the cutest ones in all of the uh, collections I know that some of you may not like them because they kind of a vintage type uh, but I am in love and I always um, need a um, elements like that to uh, use with my pictures because I have two girls so they are the perfect uh, images to work with and now I am adding a title I already added you are on this black element behind uh, next to the to, to my picture and I was going you are an apple of my eye but then uh, I changed my mind and I uh, decided to use a cutie pie um because uh apple of my eye were too long <laughs> uh, so i changed my mind it's not about the title it's more about the picture and uh, how cute she is uh, on this photo this is this kind of a layout you make only because you like the photo not because you want to record any special memory and yay the lightning is finally finally how it should be sorry for the inconvenience and now I uh, am adding those transparent stickers. They are uh, black over the transparent background and they look perfect over the white background, the light background. So uh, my layout is uh, a very good uh, one to use them. And I'm searching for matching inscriptions and basically they all match because they are all about cuteness and love and family and uh, beautiful things which my daughter for sure is and now I am going through this Amy Tangerine uh, cute embellishments I love those bows they are from uh, shine on collection the newest one sorry I forgot the name of the newest collection and those plastic hearts are also from this uh, collection and I love how they how they look they are this kind of a puffy hearts and I can imagine that making a hole in one of them and adding them um, on the string to the album would create this very fun element that is kind of an interactive and I know I already have a lot of my page but I'm still wondering maybe I should add more and this is something that I always do I always uh, add uh, much and much elements and I always think uh, that I should have add more this is kind of a trap when you create because you can never start stop making the page and my uh, page is done I splashed it uh, with a little bit of Heidi Swap butter mist because this is the perfect shade of yellow I have ever seen uh, in my uh, in every mist collection uh, and that's it I hope you like it I hope uh, you can find it inspiring thank you for watching don't forget to check hip kit club site for more inspiration and for those gorgeous kids bye bye